Hey guys, so I get a lot of questions about uh, what's the most uh, important part of making, of, of, to pull this off, you know, to like become an artist, you know, what, what do I need, you know, is it like, I need someone to show me how to teach color or, um, you know, I need a big bank account so I don't have to rely on the, the you know, I don't have any pressure and, you know, but, um, but I, I thought I would, uh, tell you what actually is the big mover and shaker in all of this. This is Nicholas Wilton uh, at art to life and today I'm talking about the creative mindset. I just got done about half an hour ago. Uh, we just opened the Creative Visionary program. Uh, you can check that out at uh, Art Life Joy now. Um, we're open. We have a few more days of enrollment. Um, but regardless of whether you're doing our program or not, um, I double down on this creative mindset. The Creative Visionary program has, there's three parts to it. And the first part is the creative mindset. We spend, you know, it's a 12 week program, but we spend the first part of it just in creative mindset. It's because it's the most, most important thing uh, to focus on. It's the thing, you know, and when I say creative mindset, it's you, it's, it's, it's looking inside of yourself. It's, that's what you, we leverage to, that's what you're going to leverage to make amazing art and it the payoffs huge and so you know having the right mindset meaning you know we're not getting derailed by comparing our work to other people like that can really slow you down you know or thinking you're not talented for example that's really really common that you know and feeling like you're an imposter in this or maybe i don't have what it takes to do that those ideas are false. You can completely do this and a, a creative mindset, you know, once you get that and know that, you're more easily can move forward. And optimizing how you're thinking about it uh, allows you to start paying better attention to the, the, the task at hand, which is looking within ourselves and feeling what it is that brings us alive. What do I love? What is out there? What am I drawn to? You know, it's like if you're really, really busy all the time. You miss clues, right? The creative mindset is one. It's like, yeah, you got a lot going on, but there's things that you're paying attention to. There's things that you know that lights you up. You're thinking about them. You're using creativity more in your day. And, and this is so important. This time spent on that inquiry, you know, in the Creative Visionary program, we do a whole stuff with a bunch of stuff with inspiration boards. We spend the first uh, four weeks of the program investigating this uh, for ourselves. It is so so important, and it totally makes sense. Like, how, where is this amazing art going to come from? It's not going to come from, you know, looking at books on Picasso or studying Michelangelo. Like that, that sort of, but not really. It comes from you. It comes from inside of you. And what's so great is you already have you. <laughs> you have everything you need already. And, you know, I know this firsthand uh, and the challenges of trying to do art if you're not connected to this, because this, this is what I was missing. Uh, it wasn't until I had a challenge and, and actually the podcast episode coming out this Wednesday is all the story of that, how I learned about this. And once I started to get that creative mindset dialed in, everything happened. In fact, art to life happened. Art to life came out of understanding this. And that's why I teach it. That's why it's so, so important. It's as, it's as important as having all the information. Yeah, you could need to learn how to mix colors, you know, you can Google that on YouTube maybe, you know, but you can't get this. And this is so, so important. And yeah, having all the art, art information is important. Learning a process of putting these two things together, yes, important. That's what we're doing in the Creative Visionary Program. But you can make so much headway by spending some time paying attention to what lights you up and just slowly moving towards it, you know, paying attention to the colors that you love, paying attention to the kind of artwork you like, pin that up, you know, notice, especially in your work, what are the places, what are the parts that are yeses for you? It's about cultivating that discernment. Your soul is telling you what you want, what you need, 
and, and you want to listen. And, and that takes some time to learn how to do. The world doesn't, isn't hardwired to, to get us to follow our intuition a lot, right? We, it feels sort of like, well, it's too risky. But intuition, you know, in, in art making, your intuition is what you're going to leverage in your art making. Intuition is a huge mover and shaker, giant mover and shaker in making powerful personal artwork that's easy to do, that's faster to do, that, that you know, you don't, want, you don't procrastinate about doing. So I just want to remind you of this fact um, because if you have an opportunity to take some time to, you know, continue with that sketchbook, to write down those notes, to stay on this. This is what's going to do it for you. This is how your work's going to develop faster and, and more efficiently. Um, so let me know in the comments, you know, how, uh, how are you, how do you tend to this, right? Do you still have limiting beliefs that, that are holding you back? You know, that like, they're heavy. Limiting beliefs are heavy. And if you're, if you're on the creative path and you're carrying a bunch of these things in your backpack, you go really slow, man. And it, it tires you out. You can undo all of that. That's what we do in the Creative Visionary Program. But you can do a lot of this just by like realizing and realizing that, you know, this is available to you. You know, it's just a matter of, of focusing and moving through it. Making your art will provide the momentum and the clarity you need to continue to make your art. There's a therapeutic aspect of this, the actual process of making art. And on that podcast, I'll share that with you. I found my way out of a dark, deep, funky place in my life by my art, you know, just by making art. It's incredible what it, what's possible. And I, and I really, you know, I can't encourage you enough to just lean into that because it'll give you the, it'll give you the path that you need to follow. So let me know, you know, how, how you do this, how you think about the creative mindset. Where are you in this? Is this what you're using to make your art? Do you feel all the way connected to this? Um, so uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, share what's working for you. Share what's not working for you. I'd love to read that. For any of you guys interested, enrollment's open for a couple more days. Go to artlifejoy.com or click on the link below. We've got amazing people coming in. It's going to be a phenomenal year. It's going to be so, so cool. I'm really, really fired up. My whole team's fired up. Um, so uh, go ahead and click on that. Even if you just go to that information page at that link, read about all those artists. It's really inspiring. It'll make you want to paint because <laughs> there's about 100 people on there that are just the progress people are making. And, you know, when you pay attention to this, your whole life can change and your art changes along with it. Check out the podcast that's coming out on Wednesday. Um, I just got talking and I kept the mic on, so I don't know, you know, but it, but it's the story and it's, it was the first miracle, you know, uh, that, that I experienced in my life um, of when I was in such a dark, hard place and that life came in and energy came in and things came in when I, when I took the opportunity to like start, you know, shifting how I thought about things and what transpired and the fact I'm talking to you now, I'm doing the things I'm doing. Art to Life came into existence. We're in, we have this huge community all over the world. It all came out of that, that, that resurrection coming out of that dark place and art was what did it. Anyway, uh, super great talking to you. I um, hope you have a great Sunday today and um, I'll see you on the podcast and hopefully I'll see you in the Art to Life uh, creative visionary program this year. It's going to be amazing. The bus is leaving on Thursday. Enrollment closes Wednesday night, 11.59 p.m. See you there. Okay. Hey, everyone. If you found this helpful, I have a whole lot more to teach, share, and inspire you with every single week. So please join the Art to Life YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button below. Okay, great. Let's do this.